one very important and interesting type of reaction that deals with carboxylic acids is known as Fischer esterification or simply the esterification reaction. So in this reaction we transform the carboxylic acid into an ester molecule. So the net result of this reaction is basically the replacement of the H on the carboxylic acid with a hydrocarbon R group that comes from an alcohol molecule. So we basically take the carboxylic acid, we mix it with an alcohol in the presence of an acid, so this is an acid catalyzed reaction, and we form our ester product. And this reaction is known as the Fischer esterification. So in this lecture, we're going to focus primarily on the reaction mechanism of this reaction. We're going to see why and how it actually takes place. So let's begin with step number one. We take our carboxylic acid and we mix it with our acid. In this case, the acid is basically the conjugate acid of this base, our alcohol. And notice that I'm designating the hydrocarbon R group of this alcohol with R prime to basically differentiate it from this hydrocarbon R group of the carboxylic acid. So this acid protonates the oxygen of this carbon-oxygen double bond to form this resonance stabilized intermediate. Notice that this oxygen can also be protonated, but if this oxygen is protonated, then we do not form resonance stabilized intermediate. And that's exactly why instead of protonating this oxygen, this oxygen protonates because we do form the resonance stabilized intermediate. Now, once this is protonated, this is deprotonated and we form an alcohol molecule. In step two, this alcohol molecule molecule act as the nucleophile attacking the carbon of this carbon oxygen double bond and we form this intermediate in which we have a positive charge on this oxygen and this carbon is now attached to four different groups as shown. So in the next step, we have to regenerate the acid that we began with in step one. And so an alcohol basically deprotonates this group here. So we take away this H, reforming, regenerating our alcohol acid, as well as forming this tetrahedral intermediate. So basically, in step one, the acid protonates the carbonyl group forming a resonance stabilized intermediate as shown. In step number two, that alcohol molecule acts as a nucleophile as a Lewis base, basically interacting with this Lewis acid, and we form this molecule here. In the final step, we see, or in step number three, we see that the alcohol deprotonates the oxygen as shown, forming our or regenerating our alcohol uh, with our extra H as well as our tetrahedral molecule. Now, in the next step, we can have one of two things taking place. So in step number four, we can either protonate the hydroxy group or we can protonate this alkoxide group. If the alkoxide group is protonated, we basically go in reverse and eventually we reform our carboxylic acid, our reactant. However, if one of these hydroxy group is protonated, we go on in step four to form our final product eventually as shown in step six. So in step four, once again, our conjugate acid alcohol basically protonates one of these hydroxy groups and we form this molecule where we have a water molecule, a good leaving group. So the entire, uh, the entire um, purpose of step four is to basically convert a poor leaving group, the hydroxy, to a good leaving group, our water. So now we weaken the carbon-oxygen bond and it basically dissociates and we form this intermediate in which we have resonance stabilization. We have the delocalization of charge among these three different atoms. And we also form a water molecule as a result of this departure. Now, in the final step, that water molecule that was formed in step number five basically acts 
to deprotonate this oxygen, uh, this oxygen of our carbon oxygen double bond, taking away this H and removing the positive charge from our electronegative oxygen. And so the final product is the ester as well as the hydronium molecule. And this is basically the acid that has been regenerated because in step number four, we basically use up an acid, our conjugate acid, the alcohol. So we see that the Fischer esterification is a six-step reaction mechanism. We basically transform the carboxylic acid to our ester in six different steps. Now, one thing that we have to keep in mind is not only do we actually replace this H atom, we also actually replace this oxygen. So the oxygen here and the oxygen here are two different oxygens. This oxygen comes from the alcohol while this oxygen basically departs in step number five when the water molecule is kicked off. So technically, not only do we actually replace the H atom, we also replace this oxygen with a completely different oxygen that comes from the water or um, the alcohol molecule. So uh, the Fischer esterification is the process by which we basically transform a carboxylic acid into an ester by using an acid-catalyzed reaction.